What's going on, everybody? James here, redoptionagency.com, 21 years selling on eBay. Um, so here, you hear me talk a lot about the article I have found, and it's kind of hard to find it, but uh, so I decided to look for it, found it, and share it with you guys. So, um, you know, a lot of us are getting the server errors, system failures uh, that's been going on with eBay. Um, I just now, ended and sold similar 800 more items and during that I kept getting uh, system failure this time instead of server failure last time I got server failure this time I'm getting system failures now so I decided to, to find this and share it with you guys in hopes of the positive end of this in hopes that they are still in the process of doing this and that is why we're having such server issues and system problems. Hopefully this is not complete because if this is already complete, then we've got problems. But I'm gonna go ahead and we'll read it, read through this and kind of see what it says. So this was done in 2018. Now, if I remember correctly, it doesn't say when they were gonna start. And then also we had the COVID issue too. So we don't know if any work was done during that period of time. Um, so if it say if it was put off for a couple of years, it could still be technically going on. And one key word in here uh, that stands out is ambitious. So did they get in a little over their heads if that if that's what's going on? Hopefully that's not it. Hopefully it's because they're still changing out servers. But so eBay builds own server and tends to open source. So open source is fueling the transformation of eBay's infrastructures with technologies like these particular ones by sharing our innovations with the community we are hoping to give back. Now, personally, I'm not sure exactly what that means. I've never been a tech person, so I have no idea. But as part of an ambitious three-year effort to replatform and modernize our back-end infrastructure, eBay is announcing our own custom designed servers built by eBay for eBay. We plan to make eBay servers available to the public via open source in the fourth quarter of the year. Now I did a Google search for eBay servers and did not see no immediate ones out there uh, like for sale if that's what that means, means you know open to the public. Uh, I'm not sure but um, like I said, ambitious sticks out for me and three year effort to do the back end. Now, the last, not the last few, but I had talked to a couple of the representatives who seemed like they were knew what they were talking about prior to the last six or seven times I've called in, um, said they were on the final phase of the website design uh, restructure. So what that means, I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I know it's back-ended related, related to the infrastructure of the, the, the layout of the website. Um, I'm trying to think what was it that was the last part that I had called in because I was having issues with it at the time. And they go, well, you are in the middle of changing that one out because that is the last bit of the redesign of the website on the back end. I don't remember what it was. But anyway, you've seen all the, the changes over the past two years uh, to the website. So being that we still see a lot of these changes going on, and in an optimistic viewpoint, all that's still going on, meaning this whole uh, ambitious three-year replatforming situation is still going on. Um, I'm hoping that because if it, if this part is complete, then that means the servers they built are bad and they're what's causing the problem. I don't want to believe that. So I tend to lay on the optimistic side that they're still in the process of making these changes. And as of like six months ago, I was told that they were on the last leg of the uh, infrastructure, backend infrastructure change. So if that includes the server issues also, um, that still could technically be going on. So 
Building servers specialized for the complex demands of our marketplace took intense research testing across our applications and partnerships with key hardware vendor, vendors. These servers cater to eBay's specific needs and able to improve customer experience, create greater efficiencies, and reduce our dependence on third parties. Um, with that statement, I'm, I'm hoping it's, my first thought was to fit in more with their promoted items and with the algorithm and how all that works, but that's software, so I don't know exactly. That was just my first thought uh, when I read that particular uh, paragraph. So uh, with 175 million active users and over 1.1 billion live listings on eBay, the infrastructure needed to manage our complex marketplace is massive. And I can understand that. Um, while managing traffic and moving huge amounts of data are complex endeavors in themselves, the infrastructure that runs and maintains the platform is also a critical enabler of any future shopping experience. Now, hopefully we are not in that future shopping experience because as you have had customers, some of you have told me and I've had customers reach out to me and we know of the issues that's been going on with the checkouts the offers not working properly, the invoices as of recently not working properly, not being able to send the ones that eBay are sending come back with free shipping even though you don't have free shipping. So we know there's a lot of issues going on with that. So hopefully that will all be remedied soon and we can get the platform back to a stable uh, playing field. Uh, the replatforming of our back-end infrastructure included included designs of our own hardware and AI engine, decentralizing our cluster of data centers, moving to an edge computing architecture and levering the latest in open source technologies. Way above my head right there. Now midday through our journey, we are already seeing meaningful results that offer greater uh, predictability, predictability more control, and needed flexibility. You could take that a lot of different ways. Um, thing that just popped out to me midway through our journey. This is 2018 and they're midway through their journey at a three-year situation. And being that the uh, key word I keep going back to is ambitious, normally when people say ambitious, three years is going to be more like six years. So if they did start in 2018 or before and they were midway through it, they could have encountered a lot of issues and problems along the way. And we are now seeing those and having to deal with those ourselves. So tackling the infrastructure transformation, eBay operates in a complex environment at massive scale. And when thinking about replatforming, we have to be mindful of the amount of data that we handle. eBay processes 300 billion data queries each day and our data footprint is more than 500 petabytes. To put that in context, 500 petabytes is the equivalent of 1 trillion songs, 2.5 billion hours of movies, and enough to back up the American Library of Commerce more than 300 times. All that right there within itself tells you how complex the whole infrastructure of eBay is and how easily when we see it, one little change can throw off so many other uh, things on the website to cause issues here, cause issues there, make something else fail. And it's so complex. And that's where it feels like now that it's so complex that they can't keep up with what is going on. And with the pile and pile of changes, they keep throwing on top of it. And to think if they're still in the middle of this transition phase, they're trying to rush through it would be my guess to get it done because they had a three-year ambitious time limit. So if we are five, six years into it, it's still not done. They might be struggling and push, trying to push harder to get through it. All just opinions coming out of my head as I'm talking. So who knows what is really going on because as we know, they don't share any of that information with us. As we undertook this evolution with Within that significant scale, our, our priorities were keeping the site running healthy and secure for years. Well, we know that's not happening. 
That was their priority, but it has not worked. That being said, if it was so complex that they thought that they might have to shut down the, the site, the fact that all these errors are happening could be a sign that they're trying to keep the site up running while they're in the middle of doing all this. Um, we looked at the entire technology stack, physical and logical layers, because all the layers are intertwined in some way. That is a key thing, I believe, too. Like I said, not a text expert, but when you update one thing, another thing goes wrong, another thing goes bad, something else happens. It's like a domino effect. The stack is like connective tissues. You cannot isolate one of the layers. You must advance them together. To make meaningful impact, the transformation should be cohesive and orchestrated from end to end. When he systematically went through each layer of our technology stack and examined efficiency, capability, and the opportunity to improve existing solutions. It's worth noting that most of the time when companies undergo a replatforming effort like this, they need to increase their budget, which they kind of have by the fees, and it often takes several years. However, eBay has been able to replatform on an aggressive timeline without incremental cost. And in fact, we have reinvested savings back into the business. Now, that worries me because that kind of sounds like they're done. Or is this just hope? You know, uh, an aggressive timeline. If it was hoping optimistic three or whatever the term was three years and it's gone over that because how many people companies anything in construction rebuilding tech especially technology they plan on something but it always usually goes over budget and over time and i believe that's probably what's going on here because i have a feeling they ran into a lot more problems than they expected especially when it comes to how uh, I don't know, volatile the site can be when you change one thing and something else fails. I'm not sure, but evolution at each layer of the technology stack. In the physical foundation, we are using a point of preference strategy, decentralizing the cluster of data centers we have in the United States. Through this edge computing approach, we can create a faster, more consistent user experiencing experience, saving 600, 800 milliseconds of load time. We are deploying online services and data closure to our users, enabling a dynamic and static cache capabilities, decreasing latency and improving the experience. Now, what I'm feeling out of this is could be We've seen a lot where we think that, you know, well, how come I'm only sending to this part of the United States and I'm not getting no orders from over here? That seems odd. Or the fact that I will get several, you know, sales in a row from like the same city out of, you know, three out of, say, 12 or 15 orders. And you're like, wow, what's the odds of that happening? Where we all feel like something is centralized. This paragraph kind of falls into that feeling. So whether it is or not, I don't know. Like I said, a million times I'm not an expert. I'm just trying to figure this out. Being eBay doesn't share too much information with us. So I'm trying to take what they do have out there and put it with our experiences and trying to come up with an optimistic answer. Uh, in the data later, we are also creating more customized models using open source technologies. We built new data, new data, a fault torrent, geo-distributed object, and data store. I'm not sure what that is personally. Long term, this will allow eBay to distribute data geographically to improve our customers' experience. See, I'm not liking that geographic thing because of that whole feeling of feeling like we're only being seen by certain parts of, say, the U.S. at a certain time. That's kind of mm, making me feel a little uncomfortable there offer resiliency to our service and provide data isolation solutions for countries that require them. We are using servers and hardware that we designed, reducing our dependence on third parties. This allows us to more specifically cater to eBay's needs, offering greater predictability to our business, enabling more control and promoting flexibility. Now, what I like about that, 
on one sense, offering greater predictability to our business. Because right now, it's not predictable at all. When I can have a $1,000 day and then the next day be struggling to get $300, when my average is usually $800, that's not predictable at all. That's chaos. Uh, <laughs> so hopefully they're not complete yet with their greater predictability. <laughs> if they are, then we are screwed. Uh, if they can, if they, if they feel that them behind the scenes have a more predictable playing field, yet we feel like we don't, then we are we're the ones being left out in the cold, and we've got to figure something new out. Um, it took us nine months to build our prototype and to deploy our custom hardware. With this shift, we are homogenizing our infrastructure, leading to significant develop and operational efficiencies. With the transformation that we have had or have made and the massive data that funnels through eBay, we used open source to build an in-house AI engine that is highly shareable across all of our teams and aims to increase productivity, collaboration, and training. It is allowing our data scientists and engineers to experiment, build products, and experience for customers to leverage AI at scale. Our AI engine has already accelerated the production of new features such as computer vision, image search, and social sharing, allowing teams to reduce development time for weeks to, from weeks to hours. Um, one kind of just jumped out at me, social sharing. They just updated that not too long ago, uh, from what I understand. I haven't used it myself, but that just came into play, I want to say, within a month. So if they just got to that point, that would kind of tell me they're not done yet and it's still all a work in progress. Um, because I would hate to think that these AI engines are what's causing us to do a $1,000 day one day, a $300 day next day, you know, and get 79 sales one day and get th maybe 30 the next. Uh, hopefully that's not the case. And sharing, social sharing kind of tells me they are still in the process of doing that, being that is one thing that was just introduced not too long ago. If I'm reading it right, if I'm using my lack of a brain, I'm not the smartest person in the world. I'm just trying to understand this as an average Joe here. So the open source philosophy, true to our core as a beacon of opportunity empowerment, our approach to technology is centered on an open source model. Open source is fueling our transformation with technologies with those companies again, propelling eBay to new, pre new performance levels for our customers. In a sense, opening source gives us control of our destiny, offer greater capabilities to customize for eBay's needs. Uh, again, the fact that there's so many checkout issues, so many offer issues, so many issues within the payment area, right? That from checkout to invoices, that would tell me they are not complete yet because that would all be running smooth if all of this was 100% complete and working proper, you know, like the cherry on top done type of thing. Of course, we know there's always going to be issues in technology where something may fail or something may break. But being that we've gone on two years that I've been calling in about server failures and system failures and dealing with those, and I have a list a mile long of tickets and reports at eBay would tell me this is still going on. So that's why I'm, I'm more these days trying to basically not really complain about it, but let you guys know you're not alone. Here's what I'm experiencing today, and in hopes that one day soon it will all be right back on track. We also have the opportunity to give back by sharing eBay innovations and technology experiences with the broader engineering community through open source. Developers and communities who leverage our tools improve upon what we are building and help us create better experiences overall. Now, with what I'm experiencing as a consumer of eBay or a, a, a worker of eBay, however you want to look at it as a seller on eBay, I don't see nothing that they have worth sharing as of yet, you know, because nothing's working properly. So that could be a positive thing in the fact that they're not done yet. Uh, and we're incorporating the open source philosophy not only into hardware, but also into our approach to software development by bolstering our API offerings and investing in our developer program as a cornerstone of eBay's future. 
building the right culture, the key to success in replatforming our infrastructure on an ambitious three-year timeline, of course, are people. Building the right culture and creating the best atmosphere required deliberate and delicate work. With the right culture in place, the technology and innovation will follow. Uh, that being said, I'm going back to the COVID thing. If they were on the three-year thing, that could have delayed them a year and a half, two years before they felt comfortable getting all these people back together to do this. Because as we know with the whole COVID thing, a lot more, especially the reps, they work from home. They're, you know, I've, I've called Utah, I've called Florida, you know, I've get reps all over the United States. None of them are really None of them that I've ever contacted are centralized in like the eBay headquarters in California. So that could have prolonged the ambitious three-year build. And technically, we could still only be two years into that build. So with this in mind, we've organized our team efficiently to be able to respond quickly and to be flexible as priorities change. And we promote a learning culture within our team as a way to eradicate risk adverse behaviors and embolden creativity even more we believe it's important to over index our on transparency to promote a strong collaborate and effective working environment now i wish they would be so transparent that us as sellers would know what's going on all we have is this thing that i found and i've never seen any other youtuber talk about this this thing so it's not easily found uh, from what i can tell um, and I had to do digging to find it myself. So, um, our people and culture are the drivers of this tremendous effort. With many thought, th thought leaders showing up as change agents across multiple disciplines to facilitate this transformation on an aggressive schedule. Now, I hope they are all... See, what it, what it feels like to me is they're not working together in unison because it feels like you have the, the, the tech team, the side that's trying to fix things, and then you have the side that just keeps piling on updates. And then this guy can't keep up because every time they add something over here, it breaks even more, and it's extremely hard for the whole, the, the fixed text tide to, to keep, to maintain the site in a proper working and, you know, level, because just more and more stuff just keeps getting dumped on. I don't know. Like I said many times, um, we are only halfway through our journey. So this is 2018 and they're sitting there halfway through their journey of an ambitious three year project. So if they were halfway through there and they got prolonged two years, there's a, uh, there's a year and a half there plus whatever else they went over budget on or over time on. So the culture we have created, the strategy we are executing and how we have never lost sight of our customers. Now. Who are their customers? Are their customers people buying on site? Or are their customers us sellers? Because without us sellers, they have no buyers. So technically, I've always looked at we are eBay's customers. And our customers who buy from our store, yes, they shop on eBay, but they're our customers. We're the ones that have to take care of them. We're the ones that are punished if we don't take care of them. Negative feedback, strikes, whatever the case may be. There are customers that we have to take care of. Um, that's the way I've always looked at it. By replatforming our infrastructure, we are able to take advantage of a number of new technologies. This further improves efficiency, flexibility, and scalability. Our work today positions eBay to deploy new experiences at scale for years to come. Now, I love all that. It's all great and positive sounding and makes you feel, yay, go eBay, right, from a seller standpoint. But then we come back to reality and where we're at today with all the system failures, the server failures, invoices not working. I see so many com people complaining consistently on the, the, the eBay tech boards about things that are not working. And I go in and say, don't worry, this has been going on for two years. I've called in many times about it in the past two years. Um, hopefully that will get it fixed one day. Um, I say that a lot on the message boards because of people complaining about the same old things that I complained at about a year ago, a year and a half ago. So from the optimistic standpoint, this is not done. That's the way I'm kind of feeling it. That's the way I'm kind of looking at it. And I'm hoping that, that I am right and that one day soon they will at least get it to be more consistent across the board. 
uh, and not feel like our stuff's being hidden. I know there's several of you out there. I don't know if you're watching or not, but I've seen several on message boards and even on Facebook where your items are completely missing from your store. Completely missing. They're listed. They're there but they're not showing up in your store on eBay and they're not showing up in search on eBay. What's causing something like that? Is that the server that's totally down right now? Is that the one they're changing out on? Is that the one? It's hard to say because they won't share that information with us. So I know there's stores out there who are in worse positions than mine when it comes to the flexibility because they're just, they're, they're flatlined period. Uh, because their items are just not being shown for some reason. And the one I was reading, they've talked to five different reps and they still have not been able to figure out and or fix the situation. And it's been going on, it's definitely over a week, I want to say two plus weeks from what I'm trying to remember. I don't remember exactly, but it's been a while. It's been a minute. It's been longer than it should be. So what exactly is going on there? I don't know. Hopefully we're all still just in the midst of this and that we will come out of it soon in a positive, flourishing position. But uh, that's that's to be seen. On that note, I just wanted to share that article with you since I talked so much about it, but never shared it, never really read through the whole thing word for word like I just did. So there you are. Take the information with as you will, and uh, hopefully we'll be back to normal within a year. <laughs> all right, thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Later.